Starting off with the crab ride. My knees are below his hips, all right? I don't want to be too high. My knees are below his hips, my feet are below his knees. I'm dragging out, keeping him from basing up in this position. I want to get a two-on-one on this side. I'm not always going to be able to just come under and get this and pull it around and do all this stuff for our hammer lock. So if his arm's out here like this, all the way across, I'm not going to come over here and see how far I'm reaching. If I come here, I'm taking him with me. And I'm turning his spine up to get to this. So I come out here and grab this way, or this way, two on one. So your two on one doesn't matter from here. One or two. If I get this, I'm pulling him in tight here. And to get his chest onto that arm, I'm going to take my feet off, and I'm going to drive to get that arm pinned underneath him. Everybody tracking so far? Okay. Now I'm turning my arm with a cutting bone when I, when I dismount to the side here. I'm going to back step, post off. One, two. I'm driving in hard. When this arm comes out, I'm turning that cutting bone down. To here, it's out now. I can finish here. The hammer lock for one. Now I'm going to pull him away. To do that, I got to get some weight off him. So I'm pulling in one direction to turn him to his side. Away. He comes up. I'm still two on one. Tight and up. I don't want to lose this arm. This one comes off to the side, across his face, through the chest. Double up on this for two on one here. I'm going to step over down his face to give me more options from here. And I'm keeping this tight, tight, tight. I get my shoulder driving down. His arm strapped. All my weight is on him. You see, my knees are not down right now. He's carrying everything. It kind of hurts, right? Okay. He can't stop me from going north-south. There's nothing to stop me from coming around this way. So I'm going to go straight into my reverse front headlock here. I'm coming down this way. Thumb to the carotid, all the way to the side. If I can get to the larynx spine or the, the Adam's apple, and I'm going to turn. When I turn, I'm jamming my chest into his chin like that. You see that? It turns his head out like that. I'm not too worried about the grip yet. Post on his hip to keep him flat. Posting on this hip as I move back. Now when I get down here, this head comes around, I'm grabbing my own wrist. Here's a quick trick for you. If his head's turning in here, when you go to grab your wrist, just push his head up. Like that. And then grab your wrist on the way back. When you grab your wrist, I'm sprawling, my head goes down. It's not a lap trick, guys. I'm squeezing my bicep into his throat. When I come down this way, I'm squeezing, all the way. Slow, slow. It's a slow choke, okay? If that doesn't work and he turns his head in to be defended, I'm coming down here and turn his head in. I can't push his head out. I'm going to loosen my grip up a little bit. Sit, hook, and I'm taking, look at what I'm doing. Can you see the grip I have on the side here, like this? I'm on his chin, like that. Post my head, I'm locked up, and twist for the crank. Good shot.